Well, hello everyone watching. How are you? Hope you're fine. I'm doing pretty well. And yes, the first thing, new hair color. Uh, I dyed it like maybe a week ago. The first thing I noticed when I did this was that I did the same color when I was going through my emo phase during high school. When I was around 13, I think, I went through my emo phase. Which was fun. I mean, I made a lot of friends that I still have to this day, like my best friend. We will be friends for Man, that's a lot of years. Uh, like eight years. So that's how it's been. And I made a lot of good music that I still listen to this day. Like I mean some environment, bar boys, I know the name. Uh but yes, the thing that I can't do regret the makeup. Man. This is way too light. That's better, I think. Um, yeah, the makeup. Oh my god. So I thought I will make a 2018 recreation of my emo face. Emo with this. Because we all know what emo face is where we weren't really emo. Not that there's anything wrong with it. We just were kids trying to be. So if you're interested in see my tweet on it, just keep watching. Well hello there. My hair is looking a bit rough. But that's okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you. The first thing I should say is that when I was in high school, I didn't wear um, foundation because, unlike now, I have a, like pretty good skin. But now I have hormonal acne, so sometimes I get like hmm, and red patches. I, I don't know if you can see. Well, maybe I'll do a an idea about it. It's not like really bad, but I feel like I need um, coverage. I'm gonna be using my Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hours Comfort Serum in. Mm, I think it's Ivory. Yeah, 100 Ivory. I will turn my finger. Like that. That's it. There's a lot of uh, clouds going through the sun and so my lighting stuff. I mean, I have a window right in front of me. Um, I'm not a makeup artist, I don't know anything about makeup, I do it so I can feel like it. I don't know, I do it. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be covering my, covering my dark circles because... Are you really anymore if you don't have dark circles? Mm, I think not. So yeah, just in my red patches and what I have. And I'm going to use a wet sponge. But it's really dirty pretty much to to really push it inside my skin. Block the pores. Next thing I will do is add the the scary part is coming. This would not wear eyeshadow, but I think like it looks weird to just have eyeliner now. 
I don't think it matters in 2013, but now it does. Okay. And so, I have these brushes that have pieces in it, and they're cute, and I like them. And I bought them, um, I think, in a drugstore from my town. Um, they have no brand in them, so they're just brushes. You can use whatever you want. And then I have this eye pigment that I use a lot, as you can see, in brown. From what well, it doesn't say, I think, individual eyeshadow number 13. What brown? Again, any brown eyeshadow. Something I always forget to say, because English is not my first uh, language or my mother's tongue. It is Spanish. So, sorry if I say something wrong or, or I uh, mispronounce it. So, sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to be putting it right here, just to have a little bit more definition. And a little bit down there. Don't worry, I'm going to be in... Oh, what's the word? I don't know the word. But this thing, will you just be united? And yeah, with my finger, that's the problem. Yeah, I can do that too. Eyeliner. I'm going to do my wing liner. I don't know if I can film it and do it because trust me when I say I'm with my eyes. But we'll try. This one is uh, an Argentinian brand, I think. Or uh, I don't know, I bought it on the pharmacy. The high makeup of the joint makeup. I know if I this thing. That's it. And it's like a regular eyeliner with a stick. So oh, that's a lot of makeup. Um, yeah, I'll be right back in a second. Hello, I'm back. Next thing I will do, curl my lashes. And now I'm going to use my Maybelline Forces Push Up Angel. I have this weird brush, this is really good and I actually really like it. Same one on the lower lashes. Next I will do is contour my face. And I do not have a contour shade that like matches my skin because it's going to be really orange on me. And I'm not about to spend like hundred dollars on one contour kit or whatever. So you know what I do? I use from this palette this shade right here. It's like a really good tone brown, and I think it looks good on me. So whatever. Lipstick, like a really bumpy lipstick. This is a uh, Glarin Bright Lip Gloss in 21. I don't know. Again, I bought it on the pharmacy, so. <laughs> it's dark. 
So, this is the final look. I found my sh I think it looks good. I mean, I still wear it, I know. It's more like a 2015 you know. So, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down there, and leave a comment. Why not? Were you like emo? And yeah, I will see you next week, probably. Now that I have where to go, because that's why I wasn't uploading. <laughs>